friends, welcome back to my channel, Life Between Words. <laughs> it's been a hot minute again. Um, I even filmed my favorite video, favorite books, favorite videos, favorite books from 2018. I filmed it, haven't edited it, haven't uploaded it, uploaded it. In. I, I speak English, right? I can make a million excuses. January was a really, really, really difficult month for my family. My father-in-law died. <clears throat> It was just very unexpectedly, it was kind of crazy. I feel like we are only now kind of recovering, if not coming back to our like emotional stability, at least coming back to our you know daily routine. Um, I really wanted to upload more on my YouTube channel and it just hasn't happened yet, but um, I think my last video was also an announcement video, so what do you know? Two announcement videos in a row, but that's just, <laughs> that is just how it is going to go. Um, I'm really, really, really excited to tell you guys that uh, Krista, my friend Krista from Books and Jams and I, are going to be doing Middle Grade March again for the entire month of March. This will be our second annual Middle Grade March, like last year. Middle grade March is, is meant to just encourage people to read more middle grade. If you read one middle grade book in the month of March, you're participating, my friend. So congratulations, you have succeeded at middle grade March. But we also know that some people out there will want to read more middle grade books with, with us. I am going to re be reading almost exclusively middle grade books. There are a couple books I think that I um, am obligated to read, but other than that, it's going to be middle grade from the first through the, does March have 30 or 31 days? Do you guys know this trick? January, February, March, 31. March has 31 days. Probably should know that just off the top of my head, but you know, there's only so much space in this brain of mine. And when you've got little kids, that space is filled up with all sorts of other stuff. Okay. So because we know that there are some people who are going to want to fill their month with middle grade books. We do have some challenges for you if you choose. These are just suggestions to guide your reading if you want. But like I said, read any middle grade books you want. Read one, read a million, don't follow the challenges, do. These are just for those people who want those this added layer of, you know, added layer of I don't know where I was going with that. All right, so the first challenge is to pick a nonfiction middle grade book or, because we know that that could be kind of hard or not up your alley at all, um, if you don't want to read nonfiction, read a book based on true events. So that's challenge number one. Challenge number two is to choose a book with a main character who is not human. We were thinking animal, magical creature, whatever you want, but not human. This is a common sort of theme slash trope maybe in middle grade novels. Um, I read a book last year where the main character was a tree, which sounds really boring, but wasn't. I I'm going to stretch this and say if it's not a main character, it should be an important character in the book. And you'll find that in so many middle grade books. I mean, heck, Harry Potter has animals in it. Nevermore has some uh, characters in it who aren't, uh, who aren't people. The third challenge is to read a book. What was it? <laughs> read a fantasy. There are so many fantasy middle grade novels to choose from. This is a more generic um, challenge as opposed to a more specific challenge. Read a middle grade book that's a fantasy. Um, the fourth challenge is a little trickier um, and, you, and will require a little bit more research, and that is to read a middle grade book written in verse. There are some great ones out there. I feel like there aren't a ton maybe, but they are, they do exist and you can find them and you can find them in many different genres, nonfiction, fiction, based on true events. The nice thing about reading a middle grade book in verse is that it will fly because middle grade books often are, uh, don't take very long to read to begin with, and then when they're in verse, they take even less time. So you can, you can check that one off the list real quick. Okay, and the fifth and last challenge we have is a similar challenge, maybe even the exact same challenge that we had last year, and that is to read a diverse book. Um, 
And what we mean by that is read a book in which the main character is different from you, whether that is a different nationality, a different ethnicity, um, a different ability. Uh, so find, find a book where the main character isn't able-bodied. Find a main character where, find a book where the main character um, is a different skin color from you, is a different nationality, etc., etc. I already mentioned all those things, so I think you know what I'm saying. Uh, pick a diverse book. We also chose a, let me get it out actually, because I own it and I'm really excited about it. Like last year, we have a group pick that we're encouraging people to read with us and we will discuss at the end of the month. Last year, our group pick was The Girl Who Drank the Moon. It was an amazing book and as Krista and I were talking about this, we're like, how are we ever going to live up to that? It was such an amazing book. But we have a book that we're both really excited about. I think I am the one who really convinced Krista because I've just been seeing it in middle grade circles and was, have been so excited to read it. So our group pick this year is called Sweep, the Story of a Girl and Her Monster, and it's by Jonathan Oxier, um, who wrote The Night Gardener, if any of you have ever heard of that. A lot of people have. I think The Night Gardener might even be a picture book. I'm not sure. But nevertheless... This book is supposed to be amazing. I first heard about it on the Read Aloud Revival. For those of you who are familiar with that, it's a podcast slash website slash Instagram page. Um, the woman who runs it talks about the importance of reading aloud. She gives amazing read aloud recommendations, and she raves about this book. She really wanted it to win the Newbery. It didn't, but... From everything she said, it sounds like it deserved it. So we are going to read this book as our group pick. This book takes place in Victorian London. It's about a little girl who is a chimney sweep, and the person who, like her boss, is very ruthless. When she gets stuck in a chimney fire, she fears that the end has come. Instead, she wakes to find herself unharmed in an abandoned attic, and she is not alone. Huddled in the corner is a mysterious creature, a golem, made from soot and ash. It's supposed to be wonderful and also heartwarming and also like imbued with all of those things that a great middle book, middle grade book is with like a lot of heart and a lot of, um, I don't want to say lessons because that makes it sound didactic, but like deeper, deeper issues, um, belonging, loneliness, that kind of stuff. I'm so excited to read this. I hope that you'll join in. And speaking of the discussion that we're going to have about this book at the end of the month, let me tell you more about that. So, so last year, Krista and I, every week, would have a discussion on Instagram, on Instagram Live. And it was amazing. It was one of my favorite parts of Middle Grade March. So we are going to do that again. Every Wednesday in the month of March, we will have a discussion on Instagram Live. Um, so just to give you some idea of the things that we'll be talking about on Instagram Live, we're going to be talking about things like what is middle grade, and also we're going to give some ideas about what we're reading. We're going to give our TBR. Um, we are also going to post a TBR slash recommendation video here on YouTube, so if you guys are looking for a place to start, books to read, things like, like what books might fit the challenge, that kind of thing, look out for that TBR video. We're also going to do a middle grade Q&A, so you guys can ask, a, ask us questions about middle grade, or whatever. I mean, it's a Q&A. You can ask us whatever you want. Um, we're also going to have a little chat about maybe some award-winning books, how things are going, and then, of course, finally, um, our, our uh, discussion about sweep at the end of the month. So there's a lot that we want to discuss. I just kind of touched on it, reading those out to you, but there's there's... We've talked about it. It's going to be good. We want you to join us. The Instagram Live um, dis discussions are always a lot of fun. So if you didn't make it to one of those last year, make sure to make it to one of them this year. I think that that might be everything. I really, really hope that you guys choose to read just one middle grade book in the month of March. I really believe that there's so much value in middle grade and that adults can read middle grade and get just as much out of it as children and get just as much enjoyment and find the writing beautiful and deep and meaningful. I love middle grade. I almost would say that sometimes, I would say, that sometimes I like middle grade books more than I like adult books. But I'm going to continue to be the world's biggest evangelist for 
the category of middle grade because it's not a genre, it's a category. Don't get me started on that. Oh, I forgot to mention, also, we're going to be doing a giveaway. I almost forgot. We're going to be doing a giveaway of the book Sweep on YouTube. So we're going to be giving away two copies of Sweep. So we're going to be giving away one copy on Instagram and one copy on YouTube. All you have to do is comment below here, comment below on Instagram if you want to. So to enter, all you have to do is comment below with a favorite middle grade book. It doesn't have to be your all-time favorite middle grade book, but just a favorite middle grade book, and you're entered. <sighs> okay, I think that truly is the last thing that I needed to tell you. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. I hope that you are looking forward to middle grade March. I hope that the weather isn't overwhelming where you are. It is nasty cold here. Not as cold as during the polar vortex, but really cold. And um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later, friends. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. <coughs> <coughs> Looking for my middle grade March notes. And I found them. And we cannot wait. I'm sorry if you hear lots of noises in the background. It's not as crazy as it sometimes is. But uh, both my boys and my husband are downstairs right now playing. And it's kind of loud.